Hello and welcome to the Vale Dailies on the Hill. It is Sunday, the 16th of January, 2022. I am at the top of Pete's Express, with, which just opened a couple days ago on Friday. Some really nice snow up here at Vale's highest elevation location that you can reach via chairlift. And it's nice to have that chairlift open for the season. It allows access to this area I'm heading into called Resolution. The resi trees, as we call them here in Colorado. The resolution tree. And the snow has been nicely preserved in here along this ski area boundary, which is right behind me. We're going to see what these resolution trees have to offer. Pete's lift allows access to pretty much the last, the last location that couldn't be reached by, uh, by other means other than a chairlift. So that's pretty much everything now. Vale, I would say, is you can get to, you can get to, get to it all, get to all, pretty much all the terrain. Few areas like front side chutes and things like that still aren't available, but all the lifts servicing those areas are now open. So mid, mid January, full opening, I'd call it. We, we are still waiting on two, two major, major lifts. Um, that would be Earl's lift here in Blue Sky and the Mongolia Platter over in Mongolia Bowl on the far east side of the mountain. But both of those lifts, that they, the, they're allowing you to walk up that Mongolia platter line now, so it's st still accessible. Just have to hike it. And um, so, I, yeah, I guess a slight correction. I'd say that Mongolia platter we're still waiting on, absolutely, to give us lift access to some of Vale's great terrain here. But besides that, Earl's chair, Earl's chair is just a convenience. It doesn't offer any new lift access. It just saves you from taking that really long catwalk out of there. As I'm saying all this, I'm enjoying this nice soft snow under feet, underfoot, and it, it's allowing me to kind of talk at a low volume in these trees, which is polite, I think. More polite. As polite as you can be with a selfie stick in your hand. <laughs> so, the other big opening would have been chair 26. That's a really important chair on the front side because without chair 26, the cascade lift is, I won't say totally pointless, but it's more of a downloading option for cascade guests. It, it, because you may as well just take the bus from Cascade in the morning without chair 26 open, because if you take the lift, you gotta go right back down to Lions. So 26 opened on Friday as well, and I didn't get to do it, but I would be willing to bet that the, if you were to just go right past 26, and go down that steep, short, little steep face, which has been closed all season. I bet that was some amazing turns and amazing terrain right there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The resi trees offering some nice soft snow here. Oh, yeah. So we bale got another four inches just two nights ago. That makes it 138 total this season, which is a great season so far. In January, mid-January, 138 inches. That's nothing to sneeze at. 
That's, that's a good season. As you can see, these trees are just really nice. I usually tell people, wait till Vail gets like 90, 90 inches, 80, 90, 100 inches before you start really going, going in the trees. So with almost 140, we're doing great here. These guys, enjoy there. They got in front of me, a couple of the border. I lived in Vail and I would just come out and visit my grandmother and I'd look for stash spots. I really only had like one friend who lived here. I would come out to these resi trees a lot. So it's just sort of an obvious one that you can see from the lift, but you know it's gonna be good. It's kind of fun to come in here now having lived here for now the last 13 years. My grandma's passed on, but she, uh, she would occasionally do some of these tree runs with me and show me some staff spots. And her neighbor was really the guy who showed me most of Vail. Okay, out into a wide open field. So that's that. That's the report from top of 39 in the high altitude terrain, Vail's highest. For now, I'm your host, John LeConte, signing off, and we'll see you later.